Welcome, I'm from is a Asus ROG Phone 2 and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification. So obviously the phone in front of me is already locked as you can see. And to get started with the bypass, we're gonna go back to the first page, which also I'm gonna before that connect to Wi-Fi. So let me quickly put in the password for it. Okay, so now we should connect to Wi-Fi as well. We will need it to download apps. So from here, okay, now let's go back all the way. There we go. And change the language to any kind of language that uses different keyboard. So things like Russian, Greek, um, just work fine. Um, there is Greek. And now we're gonna progress through this again, like we did before. And tap on the field right here, hold the globe icon. And let's change it to QWERTY, hold it again, and tap the last option for language select on the bottom. And let's tap on the first option right here after the line, tap on the highlighted button right here, and this will add a, a language or keyboard. And otherwise, as you can see, now we have three. So now let's go back, back, and again to the first page, change it back to English. And again, let's go back to where we were. And hold the globe again, go to language, select, add a keyboard, and find any option with the arrow. So you can see there is one, there's like a couple more. So when you tap on it, it will have a couple different uh, keyboard options, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, what we want is once you tap on it, you have the three dot option right here, and then you can go to help and feedback. And, and in the search for help and feedback, you wanna type in Morse code. So there we go, use Morse code. It comes up as suggested, tap on the play button right here and it reloads it and you can see that now also it adds us the three dot option and in it there is watch later. When you tap on this it will open up Chrome so let's accept and continue and no thanks we don't want to log in. Tap on the field and navigate into hard reset that info. Like so. Now tap on the three bars and go to download category. Tap on the field right here and search for Android 7.1.2. There we go. And let's search. Now it should only find one thing right here. As you can see, there is FRP Bypass Android 7.1.2 and also 10. Um, tap on download, scroll down, and hold this option for the download and choose open it incognito tab. This will prevent any kind of problem that it could possibly happen. Tap on OK, it will start the download. Now you can also tap on the details if it's downloading for a little bit longer. But once it's done, tap on open, go to settings, allow from this source, so check that on and go back and install. Okay. 
continue and click on done go back go back once more and in the search bar now you want to type in settings and again download scroll down and open in incognito and open install and this time around once it's done installing open it up and from here we're going to start off by going into the apps and notifications see all 44 apps tap on the three dots and go to show system and scroll down under to g we go under to the g and we're looking for google play services which is right here you want to disable it disable app go back and then also disable google play store okay go back go back back once more and scroll down to accounts tap on add account and select google uh, now disregard the message right here it doesn't really matter uh, it will now keep crashing but it doesn't really matter anymore as you can see the option that it's supposed to do has appeared so that was there to allow us to choose google and actually log in which it did what it needed to do so in here you want to log in using your google account if you don't have one you can always create it it's completely free and once you have created it, you can then use it to log in to your phone now i have one so that's what i'm going to use and i'm going to type in a password tap on next and you can see that we have logged in now tap on i agree disregard the app crashing it doesn't matter there we go we're logged in go back and go back to the apps and notifications and re-enable the apps that we have disabled previously so find your google play services enable them go back and play store enable and now hold the power key select restart and let's wait for the device to boot back up And you can see that we're now back in the setup screen so again we're going to progress through it and now at this moment it doesn't really matter how you set it up you just want to get through it as quick as possible and you can see the message right here so that was previously uh, the page that we needed to verify the previous account now it tells us account added and it provides us with the account that we have added right before the restart tap on next to basically skip this as you can see the app keeps crashing but it doesn't really matter And as you can see we're now on the home screen so from here we're going to go into the settings scroll all the way down to system and choose 
reset options, erase all data, factory reset. And as you can see, it gives us a message that this will uh, remove the Google account and provides it with the one that it will, we have added, but it also will remove the one that was previously blocking us, which is still on the device. So tap on erase all data, erase everything, and I'll simply wait for the process to finish. And once it is done, you can then set up your device as however you like, it will be at that point fully unlocked. And as you can see, now the process is finished. So again, let's go through the setup process. Uh, now, once more, I'm gonna go through it as quick as I can, but like I said before, you can set it up as however you like. So. And there we go. Let it load up. And you will see that there we go. So we're now fully unlocked. And that is how you bypass the Google ver verification. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.